Hi, welcome back to Rainbow Fish. It's day 11 of Vlogmas and today we're gonna to be decorating Abel's and Nooks. I took inspiration from this picture for Abel's and I didn't really have anything to go off of for Nooks so it's a little bit slower and a little bit less <laughs> of a good result because I um, didn't really have as much direction with that build. So I started out just by mapping out where I wanted the actual building to go. Then I laid a little bit of pathing down and pulled out some stalls. Um, and I was just kind of testing some custom designs to see which combination I liked, if I wanted simple panels behind them, or what I wanted to do. I did download some custom clothing designs that I'm just putting in front of the stalls here. Then I went to the next day to get the stuff that I had ordered. I like the way the curtain partitions looked a lot better than the simple panels, so that's what I ended up going with behind the stalls, but I did kind of continue to flip-flop on the designs for them. And I wasn't loving the peppermint design, and then I was like really sure that I could make one that was just as good. Um, I'm not sure that that's actually true, but um, I did my best. I still might replace that with a different peppermint design in the future, but still trying different patterns on the stalls. Still not sure what I wanna do. So just putting some headgear on the stalls and then dropping some um, socks out in front as well. Just a nice little touch that you can walk over, so I feel like it makes a good design touch. Taking a little snowball break. I love pushing them up and down inclines. I think it's so funny. <laughs> So then I pretty much decided on the kind of Christmassy quilt design for the stalls and I'm just testing it out on the Zen cushion as well for the little shoes in front of the outfits. I was just about to craft something and Chevra and um, Olivia were fighting. <laughs> and it took her a long time to get over it. I had to ask her so many times. Olivia's clearly not bothered. I was a little unsure how to section this off from like everything that's gonna be in front of it. Um, and I'm still not sure if I'm gonna do something a little different, only because I like the way to, that it ended up looking on the Abel side, but I kind of wanted to mirror it at least a little bit on the Nook side, and I didn't like the way that Nooks ended up looking. So this could still change. But I like the kind of entrance with the turkey day stands and the holiday candles. I didn't really know what I was going for with like the stools on the side. I just wanted somewhere to put like other little items, but, um, but I hadn't picked those items out yet, so I didn't really know what I was going for. But I went ahead and moved the Able Sisters into place and went to the next day.
I decided not to go with the stools. I just didn't like the way that the pattern looked there. So I put some more turkey day stands down. I'm just adding some little items, um, some rings and the nuptial ring pillow. And then I was pretty much done with Able Sisters, so it's time to move over to Nooks. Again, just started out by mapping out where the actual building was going to go. Kind of mirrored the other side by leaving two spaces between the plaza and the shop. Laid some pathing down. And I didn't really want to go the kind of like merchandise route, like with Able's having like what they're selling out front. So instead I went for a little kind of light up Santa display and I made some illuminated reindeer and put the toy day sleigh behind it. Just using more illuminated stuff here next to the shop and then I thought that I could put the illuminated present on a turkey day stand to get some height but um, found out you can't. Don't know why I didn't know that. And then just using some turkey day stands again, only because I really don't know, didn't know what else to do. I think it's kind of hard to pick stuff that goes with the illuminated stuff. But Ashley, my Animal Crossing bestie, I'd asked her if she had a red LaBelle hat, and she got one for me, so I just opened up my gates real quick, and Ashley came over to visit. She dropped off this beautiful hat, which I think is the hat in the picture that I was looking at. Um, I'm just laying some more designs while Ashley um, checked out the island and I was fully shocked by finding out you can sit on the cube light. I did not know that. So then I put the LaBelle hat on the stall, which I think is a lot nicer than, well, it's nice to have different options for the hats and not just all like snow hats. I tried out some bounty lamps and ornament lamps on the turkey day stands and I definitely like the ornament lamps better. Just trying to see like what I did on the other side to see if I can kind of mirror it in front of nooks and so I put some plant partitions down to kind of get a little bit of the same vibe but um, but once it was done, I, I'm personally not really feeling it watching this back. <laughs> and it just kind of ends awkwardly on the right side too, and I don't know if I want to close that off all the way. So I'm not sure. That might, just, all this might change. You know how it is. <laughs> then I decided to use the frozen partitions to add just a little bit of detail to this back corner. And again, to kind of mirror the other side, I put some turkey day stands down on the left, but I, I'm not sure what I'm going to put on them yet. I might do more ornament lamps, I might do like snow globes or a mixture, I'm not sure. So I'm still thinking on that, but um, I thought that this was as good as it was going to get for today. <laughs> so here's where I left Nooks. Again, with all like the open space, and I feel pretty confident that it'll change a little bit, but I think this is a good start. And then I'm really happy with how Abel's turned out. Obviously, when you use like an inspiration picture, it's, it's a little bit easier <laughs> when you let someone else do all the work. Um, but I really like the way that it turned out. I really wish that Nooks and Abel's, like the style of the building was more similar because I think that Abel's kind of lends itself to looking cute 
a little a little more <laughs> so thank you for watching this has been day 11 of vlogmas so there are 10 other episodes up if you've missed any if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a like if you want to see more from me you can subscribe if you want to keep up with me elsewhere on the internet you can follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at pocket of fish and i'll see you tomorrow